Hello and welcome to, to another quick tutorial. Today we are going to apply an image or Lego decal onto a glass surface and rendering it out using cycles. And you can use this in a variety of uh, designs based on your own patterns that you can create. Uh, this is a project that I'm currently working on and I've found this uh, quick way to do it and I wanted to share with you. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So uh, we have over here a glass object that uh, we will try and apply our decal or our pattern onto it. Now, um, as you all know, glass has uh, some level of thickness and as such, our object will have uh, multiple phases. And the way to get it to properly find on the surface is to be able to UV lay out our object so that we'll be able to place our pattern designs onto it without further or any problems. Now I hide this object and show on the top view. We do have um, this side an L shape, but what we want to do is use our measure tool and like you've seen take the measurements of both sides. So a 740 one by 478.253 centimeters you're going to get averagely about 1228 centimeters the height of the glass is a 240 let's check on our item okay, that's 240 so when you are creating your pattern you can use the dimensions of this to actually get the correct layout for your patterns and um, we already have our pattern that we've created and we would use that instead but you can create whatever pattern you do have and be able to uh, set it up so basically whatever whatever layout that you have for your glass objects always find out the dimensions but this in this particular case where we are dealing with an office uh, glass kind of display we this is the approach that we'll go about in maybe future videos we will do um, glass um, objects which are complex in nature and how to lay them out for your uh, UVs but for this one what we would do is we are going to explore our UV layouts now what we want to do is we want the glass the inside of this part to not have the pattern but just the outer section so what we're going to do is we'll switch over to our edit mode First off, let me come over, switch this off, and what we will do is we would select our phases. So we have one, if we take a closer look, edges, we also have some phases at the edge over here. And when we take a close look at our UV layout, we have it laid out. Um, the all bound within the box but the layout that we have over here and uh, the design that we want to do we can change this so what we can do is that instead of laying it this way we want it to be one continuous uv spread so what we're going to do is uh we will switch over to our edge mode and we'll deselect all these phases So by selecting all of them, so we're left with the outer edges that are selected. Uh, just to be sure everything is selected, let's make sure all the outer edges are done. So what we're going to do is we will select mark scene, and then you have this dark orange layout all over. Now when we Go to our UV, go to three, select all the phases one more time, the phases that we're going to work with. Now that we have the spread over here, when we go to our UV unwrap phases and unwrap, now we have it all as one. Now that we have our UV layout, what we're going to do is we would create a duplicate of this glass shader. 
and repurpose that with the image that we're going to use and to do that we will come over to our material we will select this box and go copy material then we'll add a new material call this glass part and we would paste this material so it's going to be the same thing and we're going to assign this material to this so now that we have this glass pattern material set up on these phases we can then now switch over to our shader editor now that we have both glasses set up and i'm going to ready it for setting up our glass material or the pattern design that we have so way we are going to go about this is we are going to now work a bit on our glass pattern so it takes the same material from here and then we're going to add our own nodes to begin to set this up so to begin with we from our glass um, setup over here we're going to need mixed shader this is very key to help us set this up. Now, once we have our mix shader in, we are going to bring in our diffuse. Yes. Next up, we will have our image texture. And then add in mapping. So what we will do here is we will call out our texture that has been prepared for our design as patterns. So once we have loaded, then into start setting it up. So we have our here. UV of our color plugged in and our STF plugged into the shader. Now, this glass pattern, we will move this one over here. Now, we have a close look at our shader. This face are going to be separate from the back. And the way to get this back is to log this mix shader now into the surface. So let's give it a bit of time to So now that we have our glass mat uh, image set up, we will go back into our UV editor. And what we're going to do is um, switch over to our. Now we have our section now placed in. What we're going to do is we are going to um, transform our shader to match the picture that we do have here as we rotated we will turn this over to 90 degrees and use our scale match texture and we will do now is we scale it to match 
And because we used this um, UV unwrap method, it will be easier for us to scale the object's its entirety and get it to match up exactly with the dimensions that we previously did set up with for our object. So let's see how this. And the cool thing also is if we decide to want this to bleed to the edge over here and decide to just do say we wanted to so this gives it a very cool pattern here so once it goes over and actually have it continue without actually breaking or having a very sharp to it so with what we do have here let's go to our shader editor and let's give it a um, quick watch shader i'm going to use cycles to render this so what we're going to do is go quickly back all the objects that we have the camera back into its position and just turn on view port shader Just give it a sec to do setup that we do have over here. So once you have this layout, there are a couple of things we can work on. Now with this one cool thing about this setup is we can actually plug in the alpha of our texture and you would get a much 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 more sharper so you can decide to pull out the alpha or maintain it depending on the look and feel that you want for your shader to appear on your object so one way is if you want to maintain the alpha it, the good thing about using the alpha is that when you have this, the object becomes a bit more transparent. So in order to increase it, normally you would deal with the factor of the mix shader. But the problem is when you increase, what happens is you're going to get this very dark color. Almost, you can't really make out the patterns out of it so let's return it back to 0 0.5 and now when we add in the alpha we get a sharp image minus the black background that we have over here when we turn this on you can then see how sharp it brings out the image so one way to actually control the the transparency of the object without necessarily affecting your alpha is to open the texture within your um, image editing software like um, GIMP or Photoshop or whichever uh, program that you use and then turn down the transparency when you receive and then reload you're going to have this sharp um, you're going to affect the transparency of it without necessarily losing the clarity of the glass or not having that black background to it so we're going to do a quick render of this scene and basically we would see how it will turn out okay so now that we have this render the very very easy setup that you can do to um, add more aesthetics to your glass panels or, uh, or objects or whichever objects that you want to do. This um, node setup will help you instantly get a bit more control over how you want your 
our subjects to have their surface uh, branded or you know given some patterns that you've created yourself and be added so this wraps up our uh, quick tutorial uh, please do subscribe we will have more content coming in we've been held up with some projects for quite a while so that's why there's been a bit of a um, some silence from my end for like the past one and a half months so um the next tutorial we're going to do is actually use this patterns to actually create rather than the colors we'll turn this into frosted glass you can have uh, patterns using frosted glass so i'll catch you in the next video and take care